Hey guys, Carter here with Patriot Training Center. Today I have a new toy in the shop. I have the Beretta A300 Ultima Patrol. This thing uh, has a ton of reviews online about it and I thought I'd bring one into the shop to see what it's all about. So I'm gonna give you an unboxing vid video, but before that, I'll just kind of go over a little bit of overview of what it is. So um, it is their A300 line of shotgun and it's shortened up for a tactical version. So um, it has, it's very similar to the Beretta 1301, but um, it's a little bit in, I don't want to say budget range because it's still about $1,000, but it is a lot cheaper than the 1301. I think the 1301 comes around, I think map on it is like $1,600, and this one is somewhere around $1,100. I actually picked this up um, from Borelli.com for, I think it was like $950 after shipping. Um, so, I mean... For quality so far, um, it seems like everything's getting good reviews, but I'm going to go ahead and open up the box and kind of see what it's all about. I'm going to check it, make sure it's unloaded, because sometimes they can come from the factory. Different guns can come from the factory loaded, so we always want to make sure that we're unloading the gun, even if you are at a gun store. Just go ahead and check it. There's tons of videos online of people sending rounds into gun counters because there's loaded guns in the shop. So first impressions, um, feeling it. It's a, it's got a really nice weight. Um, I I like it. The checkering on this handguard and the um, the stock feel really nice. Um, I'm gonna start at the front of the gun and go back though. So it looks like we have a fiber optic front sight. So Beretta did something cool here. They added M-Lock and a QD mount on the front of the magazine clamp right here, which I thought was really cool. They also put um, M-Lock on the three o'clock, six o'clock and nine o'clock positions on the handguard or the foreign, which is awesome. Another thing that I really like about it is um, it comes factory with a seven round mag tube, whereas something like your Benelli, um, when you get them from the factory, they're five rounds and you have to uh, extend them or mo modify them to get that. So out of the factory were seven rounds. It has a cold hammer forged barrel, which is awesome for longevity and it's chrome line. So you can really run this thing hard, um, supposedly. So we're gonna test that out obviously, but first impressions, I think that's super awesome. For the value, it seems like it's a really good deal. Um, moving on back to the action area. <clears throat> Another cool feature that they put on these that's a good safety feature that I like is you can actually unload the gun without having to rack the action. Um, so you can unload the magazine. Obviously you'd have to uh, pull the round out of the chamber, but I'll show you with this dummy round here. Um, you can, you press up this lifter and you pull up the bolt release like this and it comes out so you can actually uh, unload it without having to rack them through the action, which is super awesome. I love that. Another sweet thing that I'm noticing about this is it has, um, the loading port is undercut and beveled, so it makes it really easy to uh, to load rounds into the magazine tube. Uh, it's very similar to like a, a competition shotgun, so it'll make reloads way faster. So that that's pretty cool. Um, moving on to the bolt, it looks like it's very similar, like the charging handle. Um, it's very similar to the 1301 charging handle. And the the only difference that I see on the 1301s, it does have a rotating bolt. This one is not the rotating bolt. So uh, that, is, that is different. Very similar overall, but there are some differences. Another thing on this A300 that's kind of cool is it does have the uh, compatible lifter with the uh, 1301. So the uh, you can... It supports all the aftermarket 1301s, so you can upgrade this lifter, which is really cool. Um, let's move on to the safety. So the safety is actually ambidextrous. You can uh, you can switch the safety um, left or right-handed, which is cool. It looks like the um, the texture on the safety feels really nice. It's easy to uh, come off and back on again. It's nice and easy to uh, grab. You're not gonna have to search for it, which is great. So moving on to the trigger, it does feel a little bit stacky, but it's really light, somewhere in the three, three and a half pound area. Um, really light, pretty pretty easy on a long gun. Um, I like it. Uh, I really, overall impressions on this thing, it's pretty, it seems like it's pretty well made. Everything feels tight and uh, 
decent craftsmanship for under a thousand bucks. Um, it seems pretty solid. Okay, so let's go over kind of what they actually put on the shotgun um, that you can use attachments with and things like that. So you have an optics rail, which is really nice. Um, you can mount optics to it, which is probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run an RMR on this one. So really cool that that comes from the factory like that. They also give you this, uh, this bag and you can adjust your length of pull with it. It has spacers. And one thing that I really like is they leave you this Velcro piece that is already fitted that can stick onto the side of the receiver. So you can run uh, Velcro side saddles for extra shotgun shells, which is really awesome that that just comes from the factory that way and uh, very user friendly. So we're gonna go test the crap out of it, shoot a ton of rounds, and I'll give you guys um, a little bit more of a review on that. But uh, we'll, we're gonna go pattern it and see how it runs and test it out. But first impressions, I really like it and uh, I think it'll be really good. So looking forward to seeing it. All right, guys, I'm out here at the range and I'm gonna see how this shotgun patterns. So um, I went ahead and uh, zeroed the red dot cause that's what I'm gonna be running on it. So now I'm going to shoot uh, just to confirm it. So I'm gonna shoot, I zeroed at 20 yards with a slug. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna shoot this at 20 yards and then I'm gonna move up to the distances that I would be using my buckshot and we'll see where I'm at. So I'm gonna go on this new target right here step back to where I'm zeroed and see where I'm hitting. Might have been a little high on that, but we're gonna see. I think that's about where I was aiming. I was aiming dead center, but I, the shot broke when I was high, so still a pretty good hit, kind of right where I needed it to be. You can see the wad hit right there, but this is where that or that slug went. That's a pretty decent hit. So, okay, so now I've shot my slug and I'm gonna pattern what I'm gonna be using in this for defense, which is Federal Flight Control 8 pellet double lot, which is unobtainium right now, but have a bunch of it. So that's what I'm gonna be using as a defense shotgun ammo. So. Uh, I'm going to start at three yards and then back it up and see kind of where it's patterning at. So I'm going to uh, shoot this and just kind of see where I'm starting to get flyers and stuff. This stuff holds a pretty tight group, um, even like with like an 870 or something. So we're going to see how this patterns with that and uh, hopefully we have good results. So I'll start at three yards and back it up. All right. So as you can see, pretty, pretty tight. <laughs> It's, uh, I mean, it looks about like the, uh, the slug did, so that's pretty tight. So back up to five yards. All right. So as you can see, the hole gets a little bit bigger, but I'm still like stupidly tight. Let's back up to seven. That was definitely me, but I mean, you're still, still holding really tight. You're not seeing like flyers out here. Everything's still just pretty dang tight. Okay, now I'm gonna shoot it at 10 yards. We'll see how it looks. Okay, so you can see it's starting to open up a little bit. Um, we're looking, I mean, it's still a fist size. We're at 10 yards. That is, uh, that's pretty dang tight. So uh, I'm gonna move it on back and we'll shoot it at 15 and see what it does. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a new target um, to actually be able to see what the 15 is doing. All right, 15 yards. That might've been me. So 15 yards, still pretty good. Um, this one, this is me, so I dropped it pretty, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the wad. So that was me dropping it a little low. Still a decent size uh, pattern here at 15, um, but I'm starting to, I'm starting to open it up. Um, so I'll shoot this, I have, I think I have one more of this. Um, so I'll go back to, uh, we'll go back to 20 yards and see what that does with the buckshot. Okay, I got a new target up. I'm gonna shoot this at 20 yards, which is where I zeroed my slug at. Um, 
it will probably, what I'm guessing will happen is I'm gonna have my group size open up and um, I chose the right zero because once you have your group size open up um, more than where you can know that you're gonna get your hits, you should probably do a slug changeover so you're not launching projectiles over their shoulder or getting ineffective hits. So I'm gonna shoot it at 20 yards and we'll see how it patterns. Okay, so as you can see here, um, I did drop one out and one back down into the A zone. These are still pretty dang good hits at 20 yards with buckshot, but I am starting to pull them out of that range um, of you know, the thoracic cavity and spine box. Like these, these are the hits that I really want. Um, and obviously if I'm taking a headshot, then this one's going over the shoulder or whatever. So um, this, th this is where I really want to start thinking about switching to a slug, even though this federal flight control is ridiculously tight um, grouping. It's still um, obviously not going to be as tight as a slug. So uh, when you're starting to shoot those longer shots, that's when you would do a slug changeover. But this thing patterns really well with this federal flight control. Um, I've been really impressed so far. This is super fun. Okay, so now that I have that flight control pattern and it's hitting where I want it to and, uh, you know, it's, it's at my effective range and I know what it's doing, uh, I'm going to go test some other buck shots in here and see how they pattern with it. So this is, I'm going to shoot the, it's a Hornady Versatite wad. It's a number four buck um, and it's a 24 pellet, two and three quarter uh, inch. So I'm going to shoot that, see how it does. I'm going to back it up to uh, three, five, seven, 15 and uh, maybe 20 so we'll see it three yards all right pretty tight no flyers at three yards shocker all right we're gonna go at five starting to have some uh, flying going on here. So I'm going to back up and let's see if we get more. All right, I'm going to take a headshot at the seven yards and see what we're, see what it's like from there. I bet that we, I bet we start missing it. So this is our wad right here. It's actually uh, pretty decent. So uh, this is where I was aiming. Um, they're starting to drop down here, but that's still decent at seven yards. If I was shooting center of mass, um, that's still within the ring. So let's step back. All right, new target so we can actually see what's going on. I'm at 10 yards right here. Let's see where we're at. Center of mass. Okay, wow. So as you can see, this 24 pellet is nuts. It's all over the place. So um, that was at 10 yards. I'm like this is getting real close for me as far as uh, over the shoulder. So I don't know if I would take that long of a shot with it because um, I'm starting to get out of that zone of where I'm comfortable. So at 10 yards with this uh, 24 pellet number four buck shot, this is kind of where I'm, where I'm thinking uh, I'd probably back it in um, if I'm shooting that. So yeah, super interesting. Let's, uh, let's back it out to 15 just to see what it does. New target. <clears throat> okay, guys, I'm at 15 yards. Uh, same stuff. I'm going to shoot this uh, and we'll see where it's at. I'm going to hit the, uh, I'm going to go for center of mass. Okay, so it looks like we got actually a decent amount in the center of mass, but we do have some flyers. We have one right here, one right here. And that actually looks like it's it. So that was pretty decent. Uh, those are all hits. This one makes me a little bit nervous, um, especially when you're talking about in home defense situations and things. Once you start uh, getting close to outside, the uh, outside the, the areas that you wanna hit, these are, you know, there's no such thing as misses only unintended hits. So. If one of these goes as a flyer, you have, um, these are a little bit smaller, but you're still having a projectile flying into who knows what, that's not gonna get stopped by drywall and things like that. So you really wanna be careful about uh, 
this is why you want to pattern your shotgun because you want to know where it's hitting at certain distances so you know your limitations with that gun. Um, so this one, I probably wouldn't be shooting at 15 yards with this load. Now the flight control, um, when that patterned in here, that stuff, that was good to go at 15 yards. So um, it's all about knowing what ammo you're using in it and uh, where, where it's patterning at. Okay, so uh, when you're actually doing this for real um, and you're testing your defense ammo, you do wanna shoot at that max distance and shoot a few rounds just to make sure um, that it wasn't just you know luck. You want to make sure that it's actually patterning at those distances consistently. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where we're at here. And so we're gonna test the Royal Buck Double Ought next. This is like super cheap cheapo um, buckshot. So we're going to test that and see how that does. <clears throat> okay, so now I have a double lot buckshot nine pellet. Um, it's the Royal Buck. It's super budget cheap stuff. It's not copper plated or anything. So we're going to see how that groups in here. Um, same test, same distances. All right, so three yards first. Okay, so at three yards, we already have uh, one that dropped out of here. So this was where I hit, this dropped out. So if my placement was up here, um, it'd probably still be in, but uh, yeah, not great so far. So let's see what I'm doing at five yards. Okay. Oh wow, okay, so this was uh, this is where I was at again. Um, okay, so it's still in the circle, but it's definitely starting to widen out. So we're gonna step back on this fresh target at seven yards and see what, how it looks. All right, it's riding the line here. So um, everything is actually in, but getting close here so that one was a line break that one was a line break um let's step back i'm gonna shoot this uh i'm gonna shoot the same target and uh we'll see how much it opens up at 10 yards okay royal bucket 10 yards so as you can see here i was all i was all in um on that last one so these shots, uh, this one is a miss. Like that's so close to not hitting them. Uh, I'm gonna count that as a miss. And so 10 yards, I don't think is a great distance to be shooting this stuff. So um, this is why you buy high quality buckshot and you pattern your gun with it. Because um, if you just put this stuff in here and you have to make a shot at 10 yards, that can go flying in who knows what direction. And this is dang near the same diameter as a nine millimeter. So you're sending an Aaron nine millimeter around, who knows where. So um, not super impressed with this Royal Buck shot, but as far as the gun goes, uh, this A300, it's, it's patterning really well. I've been running uh, higher quality stuff, hotter ammo um, and, you know, shooting slugs and things. So this thing shoots really nice. I, the recoil is great on it. Um, it's much better than a pump gun, right? Um, but as far as, for value so far we haven't had any hiccups we haven't put that many rounds through it but value i would say is really really good on the shotgun um, we're gonna keep putting rounds down range with it take it through a couple classes um, and we'll see how it does on the longevity but so far i've i like it a ton and uh yeah it's super awesome so far if you want to come learn stuff like shooting shotguns and rifles and pistols uh, check us out at patriot training center I'll catch you guys in the next one.